if, if Myron's gonna get upset by anyone that knows his character's tricks, it, it's probably gonna be Karama right now. But I feel like Myron keeps flying under the radar somehow. He's an incredible player. Myron had an incredible showing at, at Infinity, Infinity Con. Con dude. Yeah, so he did that really set against well. Fatality was. Ooh, that's one for the book. <laughs> oh my! Definitely one for the books. That was like a speed run. Yeah, that, that was quick. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. Two. I know like both these uh, players' regions are firmly behind them as well. I'm pretty sure Myron is the sole like Florida representative at this tournament. So yeah, yeah. He also did campaign for Summit himself. So yep. And sometimes when the campaign don't work out, you gotta work. <laughs> you, you just gotta qualify. Yeah. You know, there there is multiple ways to get into Summit. You can always just be the better player. Yes. All right, let's see, though. Baiting out these whistles. Karama doing an incredible job. Already 56%. Where are we going? All the way up, but 84% is the reward. Oh, yeah. Mario has that nature of that cape as well to deal with the Pikmin, too. If he does, like, uh, especially if he throws a purple with the side B, he can just reflect it right back into all Mars face. I think he also can cape the smash attacks as well. Yeah. He always has that in the back pocket, too. Karama, I, I think down air looks like just such a... You, against Olimar, you always yeah. want a really good move to be able to kill the Pikmin that are on you. And usually any move that just like puts hitboxes on top of your body is going to be very good for that. Yeah. Strong multi-hit. Uh, Olimar can't really punch him for throwing it out. Gets rid of the Pikmin, as you said. We're probably going to see that a lot in this set. But double purple here oh, for yeah. Myron. This is where Olimar will start scaling up in power. The more purples, the better. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, he's really using the Pikmin to try to like pull him to one side of the stage, especially with the purple since you're forced to shield. He can really just keep his opponent in one position where he wants. Oh, I oh. like the stall, but the down air, okay, it's not fine. enough. Maybe, Myron surviving yeah. for so long. Great DI and maybe a little bit stale, but this is fine for Myron. He's staying alive and keeping the purples in the, uh, the rotation. So the Rage is actually helping him out a little bit. Oh, Ooh, the call out. Max Rage, the air dodge in. Myron's got the purple <laughs> Pikmin ready, but he's not ready for the kicks on the way down, though. That was very nice for Myron, but Karama immediately evening the stocks. He saw that in his set with Sin earlier. He doesn't really let his opponent go to lead too long. He's always just fighting right back. And the platform extension off the up throw down air, right into the straight double jump, double up air. Very optimal stuff coming out from Karama. Tech chase off the purple Pikmin. That's where purples get very scary. They're controlling a lot of horizontal space, and when they're creating tech chase scenarios, Oh, man. Tried to dunk him with the forward air. Omar does have this uh, double jab as well to set up tech chases, but I think with the range on that, he doesn't really feel safe trying to do that against Mario. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Every Pikmin got obliterated. Cleaned out. Ooh, down tilt backer. Getting the sour hit, though. If, the, if it was the sweet spot, that probably would have been the KO there. Karama still on the hunt for this stock, though. Oh, wow. He got the poke with the Nair. I thought that was going to be up smash for free from yeah. that ledge jump. Yeah, and usually in those kind of situations, sometimes, ooh, okay, the dash up down smash, I believe it was. Yeah. Very uh, underused tool, but it's actually super good, Mario. Yeah, and some, some players will end up dropping shield to multi-hit moves because, like, maybe Karama thought Myron came up with, like, a double jump up air, and then the shield gets hit once, and they want to go for a punish, right? So multi-hits are a mix-up in a sense like that as well. But right now, Myron trying to get this stock off Karama because right now, so much so damage. Good. Yeah. Karama, I don't know, man. I just feel like Karama is just so good with the momentum. Like, he just feels comfortable. Oh, keeps, okay. He just keeps hitting him. <laughs> like, I'll trade. I don't care. I'm just going to keep going in. I'll take some trades. I'll get the little damage. Karama was I'm, definitely feeling but, himself, but you got to be careful with Olimar. You are Mario. You rack up a lot of damage, but that, that little astronaut can do it, too. Definitely. And you know you know what Mario is feeling themselves when they go for fairs. So right oh, there, yeah. we saw the platform tech chase, and we definitely saw Karama trying to land, yeah. line up a fair. That's when you know. Yes. Took a lot of damage for it, though. We'll see. Okay, nice recovery nice from Myron. Nice Myron. You know, mm. I used to be, but Karama's still seeing a way to sneak in the grab. Racking up a bunch of damage here, but oh, you wow. got to watch the rage. Doesn't clean out the purple there. Myron now with a double purple lineup. Okay. Still has the purples here. He's going to throw them away to get make the recovery a little bit easier. Oh, rolls past the potential And both purples throw. are safe. Yeah, and they're still there. Okay, Myron actually has so much Pikmin tech. Like, I can't get into it right now, but he may seem like may seem like it was a coincidence. No, he like perfectly oh, spaced that. And he was dashing back with the purples. This is very scary. Okay, hold on. Yeah, not I getting rid of these two purples is definitely, you know, it is a thorn in Karama's side right now. Oh. The back air does find the mark, though. Karama is going to close Dang. out that game one. He had such a huge lead. 
And the fact that Myron was, was able to bring it back Myron's, that close is so scary. Myron is resilient, dude. Yes. He's almost like a brick wall sometimes because it's like, it doesn't matter how big your lead is. He's going to keep playing as if he can come back at any time. And uh, I think Almar is a character too. Uh, that he can, can definitely do that. Yeah, he can just keep <laughs> playing the game plan. And the moment you slip up, you like take like, what, 40, 50%. He has purple lined up when you thought you were safe. He was actually farming the right lineup. Right, and right. He brings it back. And right, I think exactly. Myron is a firm believer of that. But we'll see. This is still best of three. Best of three territory here at you know that uh, you know your your local MSM. <laughs> Just another Monday. You Just know. another Monday out here. But yeah, great stuff to see both these guys even competing at this level. It's been so long since we've seen a uh, Krama man after that incredible win over MK Leo at Frostbite. Yeah, like, it's, guys it's like been so long. I when I saw him sit down to play, I was like, wait, <laughs> that's Prodigy like yeah. that. What? That's Karama? Like, that's crazy. And Myron, of course, representing Almar this whole time. The jab lock the with the purple in the... You're, you will never convince me that he didn't know the purple lineup was there. Like, he, you will never convince me that Myron didn't purposely string those moves together to have the ender be the purple. Yes, absolutely. You gotta you gotta have the lineup tech if you're playing Almar, And you also gotta At know it if you're playing up against the Almar as yeah. well. Get off of me, the upbeat. Get this blue off of me as well, but now... Oh, this is a great lineup, man. I good. know Karama doesn't want anything to do with this white Pikmin because if taking any latches onto him, those purples are going to be doing massive amount of work. Yeah, especially when you latch a white oh. Pikmin on and then you hit them, yeah. you know, and they're just like ticking, they can't really hit it off. That's when white Pikmin get a ton of damage in. Oh my goodness, the, the purple up are actually clanking with Mario's aerial. I wonder if Mario knows about that too. Oh, he went... Oh, oh it was a good no. idea. It was, it was yeah, actually a good yeah. idea. It was yeah, actually yeah, a good yeah, idea. Yeah. But the uh, the platform was like, actually, I'm clocking out. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not doing any overtime My for you. My ship's over. <laughs> My ship's done. You can, catch the, you can catch the next platform. Yeah. All right, they're, they're coming in after my lunch break. <laughs> yeah, great, great bounce back from Myron in this uh, second game so far. Ooh, the whiff punish. I love the upbeats coming out from Myron too. Kind of like just putting himself in this a different height for Olimar yeah. oh. or these fairs. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember pre-patch Alomar when he can up smash your shield like two or three times. Up smash, spot dodge, up smash? Yeah. Myron just did it there, and it still looked pretty good. I don't know. See oh, it. wait, hold on. Yep. Hold. <laughs> Thank you, middle platform. So for uh, his, yeah, you know. The other one clocked out, but this one, the one you need clocked in. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Prodigy was like, oh, I'll take you on that. You know, the next, <laughs> the next platforms are coming in, and they're not moving. Like, I just need, they're right where I need them all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Prodigy, Karama suddenly with the great lead and if you're Mario all it takes is a few hits. Myron is getting these whistles just to avoid getting comboed and like put further disadvantage but I, I feel like the matchup knowledge for Karama when it comes to comboing Almar is there. Like he's not really overextending on the whistles from from Myron. You know what I mean? Yeah Myron's defense is just phenomenal. Like uh, we, we see him off stage, we see him on the ledge. Myron it takes a decent amount of damage but is able to hold on to the stock for quite some time but the same goes for Karama up an entire stock 151 percent Myron can't find the KO option here this is so stressful man Karama is not giving him any free openings dude even with the lineup I, I feel like he's not really worried about it look he faced back okay but there's the purple back air punishing the dash attack if if, if you're Myron oh wow calling the roll out there's the back row yeah Myron definitely needs to make something happen with the purple it's definitely possible. He has the lineup for something. Yeah, and the, the purple double throw here is so strong. It goes to the other side, so you have the availability to go for another purple aerial on the cross up yeah. there. And Myron is looking for the triple purple. Yeah, it'll be so good for him just because he'll have safer on shield aerials, but there's the anti air. Ooh, Karama, and, oh, seeing the jump at, seeing him jump at him like that. I'm going to swing the up smash. What's the worst?